Hey everyone, so I wanted to talk about the necessity for both short and long-term goals when trying to achieve something worthwhile. Those short-term goals basically being those weekly, monthly, even daily tasks that you need to complete, which act as like a building block towards those bigger goals. And those bigger goals being more long-term, maybe even years. And within those big goals, I think it's interesting because you'll often find two types of big goals. There is the big goal that, while very difficult, is, is achievable, and it's something that you, you can definitely attain. And then there's the big goal which you know you never quite will attain, but it sort of stands there as this ultimate highest level of achievement that you strive towards in the hopes that you get somewhere close to it. So... In terms of those big but still accomplishable goals, for example, if you're starting off lifting or bodybuilding or just getting into the gym to get stronger, you could have a very big but long-term goal that is still achievable. For example, you might tell yourself, I want to be able to bench 225 pounds. And at the current state you are now, maybe that seems like this daunting task that could take over a year or even multiple years to achieve. But it's still something that you know you can achieve. And then there's also those really big goals, the kind of goals where you think of aim for the stars and you might just land on the moon instead. The goals that you kind of know you probably won't achieve, but in going for that goal, you get somewhere pretty damn close. I always say seek perfection knowing you will never achieve it. And those kind of goals are, for example, I'm going to be the strongest man alive, or I'm going to be the greatest let's say, mixed martial artist alive. And that's not to say that you can't achieve those things, but you kind of know that you're not setting this goal solely for the purpose of achieving it, but for kind of making it this highest level of achievement which motivates you to get up out of bed, to do all the hard things, to suffer, to toil, and will yourself towards. Because it's almost a spiritual or metaphysical goal because it's almost untouchable in a way. It almost seems impossible But the rewards that would come from achieving this goal or even getting close to this goal are well worth all the time that is necessary to achieve it. So there's those two sort of big goals that you can set for yourself. So let's let's use the example I made, benching 225. Now, believe it or not, I had a weightlifting phase and I was actually able to, to finally hit that 225 bench and eventually even a 235 bench. But like, If I tried to bench that much today, I would not be successful. I got pretty heavy then in a good way, like with muscle, but it took a lot of work to get there. So I had to set small short-term goals to achieve that. So let's look at that specific goal in relation to my phase with weightlifting, the being able to bench 225. So around the time that I started that journey, I wasn't benching horribly, but maybe my max was like, 165, right? So I had to sort of put myself on a regimen to to eventually achieve that bigger goal, which was benching 225. I had to set short-term goals that allowed me to track my progress and know that I was going forward towards being able to bench 225. And I could sort of see how I was getting stronger and how I was slowly making progress. Because when you have a big goal, and if you don't sort of track your small victories, it can kind of it can kind of disillusion you. You can be very disillusioned with this goal, thinking I'm not making any progress, I'm not going, getting towards that end goal, I'm not really getting stronger, even though you actually are. And that's, what's, that's why these short-term goals are important, to, sh- to kind of show yourself you are making progress, you are getting better. So in relation to benching, I, I set little goals for myself, like monthly or even weekly. So the sort of daily or weekly goals were just, were just getting those those push days done, getting those those chest workouts done. So every third day I would work on my push muscles which were, you know, primarily the chest, tricep and shoulder muscles necessary to be able to bench more weight. And when I got on the bench, I had this specific regimen of I would hit 8 reps, I believe of 75% of my max at the time, then I would do six reps at 80% of my max bench, and then four reps of 85%, and then eventually two reps of 90% of my max bench. And I would keep doing this over time and slowly add a little more weight. So I might, for example, set a little goal for myself. Okay, well, if I'm benching a max of 165, 
then in say a month, I'm going to try to get to 175. And then in two months, I'm starting to get closer and closer to that 225 bench. Now, I'm giving you these dates, but kind of treat them arbitrarily. I'm just sort of giving you an example. You have to know your body and you set goals based on the knowledge of your body. If you know that going for too much weight in too short of time is not possible for you, then give yourself a little more time or reduce the amount of weight that you want to be able to bench. But you set these short-term goals. You can slowly, incrementally, incrementally raise your max over time. And by setting these short-term goals, you, you know, within a month, you go from like 165 to 175. You're like, hell yeah, I, I, I got stronger. I can see my bench increased. I got stronger. And then you go from 175 to 185 and you're saying, okay, I'm getting even more strong. And before you know it, it's, it's time to, to, to go for that 225 max rep, right? And by that time, you've had all these months leading up to it, all these months of getting stronger and stronger and stronger and when you finally get under that and you, you have all your boys screaming at you, you know, to get that max and, and you do it, it's, it's, it's an absolutely great feeling because you spend all that time going for that, that goal, being able to bench 225. You spend all that time working. You spent, you know, every third day on push muscles, you know, you, you, you drank your whey protein, you made sure to carb load, you were eating a lot, you know, and, and you finally did it. You finally benched 225, that big goal but it took those small incremental goals you know the every third day of being consistent being disciplined just a little bit every time but just enough that you know you're getting stronger that you can track it and and discipline really comes into play with these short-term goals because you need those to hit that bigger goal in the long term if you're not disciplined and you slack off and you don't work out for a week or two weeks then obviously you're not going to progress as, as fast so it's important that you stay disciplined and you stick to those short-term timelines you hit those timelines you hit those workouts, you stay dedicated to what you need to do. And eventually you will get there. And then this kind of relates to the the bigger vision, right? So when I decided, for example, I wanted to be able to bench 225, the bigger goal was just getting stronger in general. I told myself I wanted to be 170 pounds of bulky muscle. And for context right now, I weigh like 150, 155 pounds. And although I never quite got to 170 pounds, I got very, very close. I was lifting, I was eating a lot, and I got to 168 pounds. And just for context, in the beginning of 2021, I had actually just got dumped. So I had that uh, heartbreak, uh, what do you call it? Like that heartbreak um, motivation, I guess, like, you know, Ah, there's like a word for it in the gym, you know, after you get dumped, you kind of get this, you know, this, this sad, uh, this sad motivation, like I got to get to the gym, I got to get stronger. So at the beginning of the 2021, I weighed probably like under 150 pounds. So I was pretty light. And by I believe March, I got up to 168 pounds. So that was three months. And I gained about 20 pounds. And I was able to do that because I set that big goal of I want to get big, I want to get bulky, you know, I'm gonna, I want to be a real juicy guy. And eventually I got pretty, pretty damn close. I got to 168. And, you know, we might go for that goal again sometime soon. I'm in a good relationship right now. So I don't have that heartbreak motivation, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, I'm going to have to find another way to motivate myself. You know, motivation's kind of fleeting. And that's what you realize with these short-term goals, right? That's why you need the short-term goals because motivation isn't going to get you to that 225 bench. It's not going to get you to be the strongest man in the world. It is discipline and it is regimenting your lifestyle, setting those short-term goals and achieving those short-term goals that are eventually going to get you to that sort of higher level. You know, you, you want to bench that 225? Well, you got to be disciplined. You're going to have to work out on days when you don't want to work out. You're going to have to get up out of bed when you feel like shit sometimes. Um, maybe you had a bad day at work, but you still have to go and do it because if you want to achieve your goal, you have to meet the timelines. You have to meet the short-term goals. You have to be disciplined enough to get out and do it, right? So it's very important to be disciplined, not just motivated. You know, motivation is still good. If, if that's what starts the spark, which turns into a fire through discipline, then by all means, ride the wave, right? I use that heartbreak motivation to my advantage. But, you know, two, three months in, it wasn't really that motivation that was pushing me forward anymore. It was the discipline that I had developed by setting these short term goals. And, you know, I could use a lot of other examples as well in regards to sort of physical goals I set for myself. 
for example, when, you know, I've only had one amateur mixed martial arts fight, but that was a big dream of mine for a long time. Uh, in that case, the bigger goal was to be a professional MMA fighter one day. And that's still something I want to do. Um, it's kind of been sidelined recently, uh, but I'm going to get back to that uh, very soon. Uh, I'm going to, uh, for those of you that don't know, um, well, by the time you're watching this video, I'm, I'm going to be actually, because I'm, I'm, I'm doing a seven part series and this is the first part of that series. And in that series, I'm going to be kind of helping you with achieving your goals. So this is the first video in that, but the rest of the videos are going to kind of be more specifics on achieving your goals. But as of right now, I will be on a ship deployed essentially. And uh, yeah, so I'm not going to be around for a while. I'm going to be gone for, for about three months. But once I get back, I do intend to to get back to that goal, which is working towards becoming a professional MMA fighter. But along the way, I had to make short-term goals for myself. So, you know, in high school, I started wrestling. And then soon after, I started jujitsu and 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 started striking. And, and on the way to, to, you know, fighting in my first amateur mixed martial arts fight, I had to set short-term goals for myself. So short-term goals would have been like winning a jiu-jitsu tournament and then winning the next jiu-jitsu tournament or winning a wrestling tournament, right? I had to set, and my lights went off. That's great. I had to set these short-term goals for myself to get to that bigger goal. I had to have little building blocks so I could track my progress and so I could be disciplined and regimented so I could eventually go for that bigger goal. So I'm actually going to make a video part of the series on how to get back into reading. And, you know, just to briefly talk about that, I had to set short-term goals for myself to get back into reading. So one of those short-term short -term goals, which I'll talk about a bit more later in my video on how to get back into reading, every time that I would have wanted to take my phone out and like scroll or whatever, I was going to pick up a book instead. And from there, I said, okay, well, I'm going to, I'm going to keep track of all the books I'm reading. Every time I finish a book, I'm going to write it down on a list so I can see that list slowly get bigger the more and more I read. And, and that sort of motivated me to read more and, and to stay focused and stay dedicated and be disciplined. So I'm going to be talking more about those things. I'm going to be talking about specifically how to meet your physical fitness goals. I kind of talked about that a bit in this video, but I'll elaborate more and uh, some more, some more stuff in general, just on trying to becoming trying to become the best version of yourself. And like I said, uh, as as these months go by while I'm gone, I have a, about one video every two weeks that are going to be scheduled to upload while I'm gone so that you guys have something to watch uh, while I'm away. But anyway, so yeah, that's the first video in the series. And um, thank you for watching. And uh, hopefully you enjoy the the rest on this, uh, this little, this little, uh, series, I guess. But um, anyway, uh, as always, this is the Warrior Philosopher, building the foundations of the Warrior Philosophy. I'll see you next time.